Good evening, Mr. President. I am Dexter Butkiss from the news affiliate HPCW Channel 412. And I have a few questions that I would like for you to answer. And yes, this will be fake news. Oh, here's another one. Go home to mom. Go home to mom. First off, do not talk about my mama. And if you continue down that road, there will be trouble, trouble. Now, back to my question. What is going on with you and Rosie O'Donnell? And is the feud now over between you two? Rosie O'Donnell's disgusting. I mean, both inside and out. You take a look at her, she's a slob. She talks like a, a, like a truck driver. Okay, Mr. President. She may be a tad chubby, but you can stand to use a few pounds yourself. We're all a little chubby, but Rosie's just worse than most of us. But it's not the chubbiness. Rosie is a very unattractive person, both inside and out. Usually, TV doesn't put unattractive people on their channel especially a talk show because it would just be bad for ratings you i'd fire rosie i mean i'd look her right in that fat ugly face of hers i'd say rosie you're fired wow donald tell us how you really feel well mr president after all that bashing of rosie you look a little tired Anything else you would like to say? Ha, ah, ah, ha, I need water. Help me, I need water. Ha. Can somebody give the orange man with tiny hands and a muskrat on his head some water, please? That's what it. Okay, sir. Are you okay to continue? Okay, fine. Let's move on to the immigration situation. Mexico will pay. Mexico will pay for what? What have they done? They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. Well, Mr. President, you can't throw out the whole barrel because of a few bad apples. Let them come in. Let the ones that are already here, let them stay. Why not? Come in. Come on in. We're stupid. We'll take care of you. We'll pay. Get sick. We'll take care of your hospitalization. What kind of a plan do you want? Why don't you just use border control to wean out the bad ones so they don't come in? We have people that are better than any of their better negotiations. Tough. We don't use them. Well, why don't you use them? We use people that are soft and weak and frankly stupid and incompetent. Well, whose fault is that? I mean, I really don't care. Don't you want to help all the innocent people? Some of them can even work at your companies. You are stupid. Hey! Watch it. Finally, what is your issue with Hector Gonzalez? He took a knife and he went after a friend and he lunged. He lunged that knife into the stomach of his friends, but lo and behold, it hit the belt. It hit the belt. And the knife broke. Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. The knife broke. Let me tell you, I'm pretty good at this stuff. So, I have a belt. What? <laughs> Somebody hits me where the belt's going in because the belt moves this way. It moves this way. It moves that way. He hit the belt buckle. Anybody, anybody have a knife? You want to try it on me? <laughs> Believe me, it ain't gonna work. You're gonna be successful. 
But he took the knife, he went like this, and he plunged it into the belt. And amazingly, the belt stayed totally flat, and the knife broke. How stupid. So, you're bad mouthing him because he felt the mission that you put him on? Damn it, the next time I'm just going to do it myself. Oh, Lord. God, please bless America. And get them to subscribe. Like and comment. Good night. Hello, you have reached the presidential chat line for one on one hot talk with our hamburger eating, hot smoking, pant dropping, jogging hillbilly leader. Please have your parents' credit card ready. Remember, you must be 21 or under.